today's video, we're going to be making an Arduino based ruler using an ultrasonic sensor. We'll be using the HC SR04 ultrasonic sensor and an Arduino Uno. We can start wiring it by connecting the VCC pin on the ultrasonic sensor to the 3.3 volts on the Arduino and then the ground, the ground pin on the Arduino. Once that's ready, we can connect the trigger from the ultrasonic sensor to pin 10 on the Arduino. And finally, we connect the echo pin from the ultrasonic sensor to pin 11 on the Arduino. And that's our wiring diagram. So now to wire the sensor to the Arduino itself. So once again, connect the ground pin to the ground pin on the Arduino. You can connect VCC on the other side to 3.3. You can actually use 5 volts either, but I like to use 3.3. The echo pin to pin 11. And the trigger pin. Seen in orange here to pin 10. And that's the wiring, so now I'll give you a quick rundown of the code. To start we're going to declare the trigger pin at 10 and the echo pin on 11. Then in the setup loop we're going to begin the serial communications at a baud rate of 9600. We then go to the main loop and we declare our variables duration, inches, centimeters and millimeters. We then set the pin trigger as an output and we digital write this output low first. We then have a microsecond delay of 2000, which is the equivalent of 2 milliseconds. We then digital write the trigger pin high to send the high pulse out and a delay of 1000 microseconds. We then trigger the pin low again. Once this pulse has been sent, we set the pin mode of the echo pin as an input. We then set the variable duration to be equal to the pulse in echo pin high, so this is the length that the echo pin has been high for. We then create several calculations to do a conversion from this duration to different measurements including inches, centimeters and millimeters. So first I'm going to explain why we divide it by two here at the end. Once the trigger pin has been activated, a pulse is sent out. It reflects against an object and comes back to the trigger pin. We divide by 2 to allow for each leg of this journey. As distance equals speed over time, we want to divide by the speed in order to get the distance. So next, we divide by 74 in this case, as the speed of sound in inches per microsecond is 74. Now to get centimeters, we use the same duration again, and this time we divide by 29, and also by 2. We get 29, as 29 is the speed of sound in centimeters per microsecond. And finally, our third example is millimeters. So once again, we use the same duration, but this time we divide by 2.9 and then divide by 2. The 2.9 comes from the speed of sound in millimeters per microsecond. In my example, I use a limit so that if the distance in centimeters is less than 60, then it uses the print statement to print the result. If it's greater than 60, it just skips this and recalculates. What this is, it stops it from giving it false positives or negatives and keeps it within the range of my T-square. Have a look at my example. I hope you've enjoyed this video, thanks for watching, and if you have liked it and you want to see more, please subscribe.